Okay. Dial of Destiny. Indiana Jones, number five. Harrison Ford is like 80 years old. And in some parts in here, it shows. Literally, he has a shirt off in this in one scene. And you're like, Harrison, baby, I love you. you didn't Put on a hard. shirt. I didn't care for this movie. Honestly. I did not like this movie. You could make an argument that the fourth one was slightly better, if not a lot better, than this one. I was a little bit more entertained with the aliens. Regardless of how retarded it, most of it was, yeah. What we did, let's just start with what we did like. So, number the whole one. beginning. Yeah, number one. The whole beginning was the, the beautiful. F- the flashback in Nazi Germany? No, France. They were in France. It's a younger Indiana Jones taking on the Nazis. And he's undercover. He's, he's going gonna... after the Spear of Destiny, right. which is what I think the movie should have been about. So I love that scene. The kills in that scene were crazy and it made you go, damn! The suspense, the humor, and everything. The, yeah, everything. Great. And then the music started playing, and I didn't really care about the de-aging thing. I thought it was good for the most part. Um, but you got the classic punches. He's punching Nazis. My favorite part about not, uh, Indiana Jones movies is the punching Nazis in the face. That's my favorite part. Like I said with the kills of how brutal they were, uh, the Nazis on the train were getting obliterated by an anti-aircraft gun. That All of good. them got taken out. And we got to see it, too. Yeah. That's good. That's I would have loved it if Indy got on it and he started doing yeah, it, just because good. I feel like in these movies, we can't have Indy actually killing people. He does do it, but it's kind of it's tricky the way he does it. So, like, you know, the bomber hits it, and then <laughs> all of a sudden... kill the Nazis and, and then piss them off. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden, the anti-aircraft gun, God just made it kill every, yeah. all the Nazis. He's just like, mm, okay. But I liked it. It was cool because it just just saw Nazis just... I mean, you didn't get to see them get splattered, but they died, well, I mean, obviously. Uh, we had the classic chase scenes. Of course, they were ridiculous. But good, you, good, they were good. They right, were good. but you can't like have... Like 007, any, almost. Yeah. You can't have an Indiana Jones movie without chase scenes. Mm-hmm. And we have, like, two, three in here. Um, good. So those, those are, are really good. Uh, I did like the villain in here. I do feel like there was some... Eh, there was some that parts. guy could be in any movie yeah. and and uh, I'll watch it. Mads Mikkelsen? Mads? That's yeah, the he, most badass first name ever. He's amazing. He's got that villain face. and I've seen him play a uh, protagonist. He's just a really good actor. Yeah, he's really good. Um, he's everything he's and in. he nailed it. Uh, he was like one of the scariest Nazis I've seen in TV, at least he was in modern pissed time. At, he was pissed at Hitler, right, for losing it? For losing, We yeah. didn't win. He, he wanted to be the superior king nazi he wanted to be better than hitler because he right. saw hitler is that he's messing up blah 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 didn't really get to use that uh no but i do like that scene where you see him in the 60s and he's kind of interrogating the same him. though why didn't he age? yeah okay well how did he survive number no, one he got pinged by something that was stationary Hot, on, on a train on a train headbutted something and he that's what i'm saying off. like the the spear of destiny thing i could have swore it cut him that's what i thought something. it was going to happen but when he touched it he's he like it's a didn't fake. explain it at all yeah we didn't care about that at all that artifact was thrown out the train window man we didn't give <laughs> Literally. a fuck about it but more on him uh what I was saying about that scene where he's interrogating that black uh, 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 he didn't really interrogate waiter. Him. Well, he was kind of like, "Where are you from?" And he was like, yeah. "Brooklyn." And he goes, "No, where are you really from?" He's like, "I was born in New York." I like how pushy Fuck he you. was, and his recruitments are hillbilly boys, a blonde hillbilly boy. It's just, I just like it of an old Nazi recruiting yeah. new Nazis kind of thing. Yeah, it's ideology. They, they didn't connect it because yeah. uh, what's his face, Mads. Was uh, was connected with uh, American government, right? The, so high I, up American. So government. is there? Are they referencing uh, uh, Operation Paperclip? Yeah, because there were some there were some uh, files files, mm-hmm. which is exactly what the name Paperclip came from. Right, Paperclip came from the thicker the paperclip was, the better the application for whatever NASA, whatever, right? Whatever it was, and they literally referenced he got them to the moon. You know, he's the mm-hmm. one with the rockets, the engineering. So the that's, engineering of German Nazi, right. Nazi Germany was, so that's very was clearly, used post-World War II. Right. But I did like it how he very clearly in Operation Paperclip, he said, you got us to the moon. It seemed like it, yeah. So, I noticed three themes, like action themes, where we were on a train, then we were underwater, mm-hmm. which was a awesome visual. Yeah, I love the underwater. Regardless so. of how, what it amounted to, 
it was a great visual underwater right. looking up and stuff yeah and, and and just the 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 sinking with the the heavy boots or whatever mm. it was really cool looking and then we went from train to underwater to planes yeah that was brilliant i right. loved it didn't work with the story so let's go ahead and just get into the rest of it um number one time travel oh we're gonna start with that oh we're starting with the big one i'm yeah. going with the big one time yeah. doc travel we went back doc i gotta tell you about in the time. future did you rip that off of course like modern indiana jones i don't know what the deal you is you could have still done the time thing I'm not uh, against I'm not against the time thing except the whole thing was going back in early Nazi Germany. That would have been an awesome setting. Yeah, that, that would have been a been cool better. setting where Hitler's young, he's not really in power yet. You can change things in a in a, in a snap of a finger. It would be cool to see that develop mm. and then Indy comes in and will change whatever because at the end the future is whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter like what we end up with in the end of the movie. I'd rather not have that right but we're okay with changing things so that would have been better but going way too far back in the past yeah did that not was work. just did not work i don't know me. that's i mean indiana jones always always had those fantastical endings this is too fantastic but this one this made the way. aliens this yeah made the aliens look like nothing yeah i know that's crazy and everyone hated that fourth one and now you're going even crazier with it yeah. with time travel yeah. to what is it it's like not it's 2,000 years into the past with uh, yeah, Archimedes Roman. going against the Romans. Sieging and you upon, see that. Uh, you see the siege and everything. Yeah. Uh, like what modern day Sicily. Sicily? Yeah. No. Uh, when we saw in the beginning with the Spear of Destiny, I was like, ooh, <laughs> this is where we're going to go. We're going to go with the Spear of Destiny. Because, which is a true artifact. Right. And would be true to the rest of the movies, right. which is a weird Christian mythology kind history of lesson. history thing going on. And that would fit in the theme of uh, what well, we had the Holy Grail, we had uh, the Covenant. Yeah, and then the second one was just like Holy was rocks. its own thing. Yeah. But but it would have fit in at least two of the three of the, the original. Were biblical, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and you didn't use it. And I'm pretty sure you mentioned it, but you I know it. for sure that Hitler was after the Spear of Destiny. I don't know if he ever got it, which he was after it. It's interesting, right? That's why these uh, these uh, Indiana Jones movies are so connected to the Nazi theme. Yeah. Because no one really truly understands how... Obsessive the occult. Obsessive the cult was on so many different things. So many different things. History, arts, gold, like, artifacts. like treasure and shit like that. Yeah, artifacts. We, Mythologies. But they've been doing it since the first Indiana Jones, and right. that's a good theme to keep going on. Yeah. And, um, and you could have definitely capitalized on the time travel with Hitler replacing him being a different guy whatever you could have definitely capitalized that i wish i wish they would have just stuck with the spear of destiny honestly because you could when, you could have squeezed when, it in. when the main bad guy touched it and then he got pinged yeah and he, he, he didn't like, age a day you have to explain that shit right did they explain it i missed it i'm sorry like i don't know oh they didn't explain anything how he survived or right. anything like that, that shit if you're gonna bring in the spear of destiny and go it's a fake and that's it all right that's it? You're just going to say it's a fake? Yeah, I feel like they missed a the ball on that for sure. Um, I didn't really care about the history lessons about the dial because it wasn't real. I mean, some okay of the stuff was Greek, real. I'm okay with Greek right. history so, and so the connection maybe to, to like modern times because we get almost everything from ancient Greece and right. ancient Roman times. It would um, be cool to connect that to like a Nazi thing and also what they were doing with the connection with Nazi Germany and, and America. It would have been a cool little domino effect that we could see, but we, ne we didn't really they didn't connect the dots. Yeah. Another part that bothered me was the girl. Phoebe, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Waller um, uh, I thought she was a good actress. Uh, the thing, I think she ruined it. The thing that bothered me it. about her... I think she ruined it. The thing that bothered me about her is... She was tricking Indiana Jones for the dial so she could sell it on the black market. She because was obviously she... greedy and obviously right. bad, but because she was related to his friend, we let it carry on. But um... and she had a little kid sidekick that also tagged along for the adventure. Like there's just these two yeah, people that I it didn't was a care Dr. About. Jones kind of remake thing where this it, is okie okay, dokie Dr. Jones. Yeah. No, but that's what they were going for. That kid got rid of the huge giant that way. In most Indiana Jones movies. It's Indy 
facing getting his ass kicked by the big guy and he finds some weird way to like get him take him hooked off. into like a right. whatever i don't know what i saw honestly i'm com- very, very confused the whole ending was super weird when we went back in time and we saw roman ships firing each other i was like i forgot what movie we were watching exactly what would be better for the nazi party from someone from the future to tell them what went wrong you'd be a much stronger uh an- yeah, enemy. It was silly. And it'd be better to defeat that enemy. That's a really good story. It's mm. a really good story where Nazis know the future. That's really good. So that, I think that still would be a little too much, honestly. It would be me. too much. It would. I that, think some person just like, what if they had 50 cows and they were shooting Roman ships down and the Romans were shooting at them? I'm not going It's a good visual. Yeah, but... It didn't work with this movie. Right, no. Work. It could have been a different movie. I don't know why they had to make an Indiana Jones movie. They say that for Fast and Furious 12. Like, do that then. Um... Yeah, that's all I have. Marty comes in with the uh, DeLorean. Yeah. All right. Well, that was our review for Dial of Destiny, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one.